really see something that says Two days after a would-be assassin nearly killed former President Donald Trump and did kill one of his supporters. The country struggling to understand how a 20-year-old got access to the rooftop a little more than a football field away from where Trump stood on stage with enough time to fire off deadly shots. This was a colossal failure on multiple fronts. This should never happen. There appears to have been a communication breakdown between federal and local agencies. NBC News reporting Secret Service did identify that rooftop as a vulnerability days before the event. A Secret Service spokesman says the roof was local law enforcement's jurisdiction. There'll have to be, you know, great scrutiny uh, because, uh, you know, uh, another inch and our president would have been dead. However, Butler County District Attorney Richard Goldinger said the Secret Service was in charge of security outside the venue. CNN sources also saying the Secret Service did not sweep the rooftop prior to the rally. Where the hell was the aerial visual support? Why was there no helicopter? How the hell is the crowd acting as the freaking counter surveillance operation? I know, is that the head of the Secret Service, Kimberly Cheadle, slammed by critics for the security breakdown and for taking until Monday to publicly respond. We should be hearing from the director of Secret Service. The fact she has not been out there is unconscionable. Cheadle opting for a statement, which she released Monday, saying they are working with federal, state, and local agencies to understand what happened and they'll participate in the independent review and work with congressional oversight. I have 100% confidence in the director of the United States State Secret Service. I have 100% confidence in the United States Secret Service. Director Cheadle is briefing members of Congress this week. Next week, she's invited to testify for a public hearing.